Open your TVG wagering account now and get a 50% match bonus. Make your first deposit through a preferred deposit method, such as TVG Bet Cash, Green Dot Money Pack, or Wire Transfer, and bet to get half credited back into your account. Go to TVG.com or call 1 888 Play TVG. Racing Nation's video race of the day. My name is Mike Shuck and I'm here to help you pick those winners and build those winning tickets. And I have the privilege and the honor to sit next to what I think is one of the best handicappers on planet Earth here. Jared Hork, we are here in uh, World Headquarters for Horse Racing Nation here in the studio. It's really an honor to be with you here today. Oh, it's a real pleasure. We've been wanting to do a video race for a long time and we're able to do these videos and I hope the fans enjoy it as well. And we're hoping two heads are better than one. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, San Felipe, we're going to take a look at this one. I've been waiting for this race for a long time. This will really give us a good measure on the California horses. It's a mile 16th on that ultra fast dirt course. Stacked deep with quality here. I think, Jared, many of the horses here are ranked high on our Horse Racing Nation Derby poll. So, for example, Creative Cause, number four. Backford's got a pair in here. Mike Harrington's got a pair in here. It's looking very, very interesting. And uh, speaking of Baffert, Bodemeister, he uh, looks like the horse that could take the lead. How do you see the pace setting up in this race? Well, Bodemeister is definitely going to be one of the horses that's on or near the lead. And the Sandy to track, for the most part, throughout the meet, uh, early pressing speed it has been dominant. Uh, and Bodemeister looked great in his last start over the track, but that was a speed track uh, that day. The track was favoring speed. Yep. He got loose on, on soft fractions. But he, he did look good. He finished strong here in a nice speed rating. He's, he's going to be a contender. He could be over bet. This is his first start against winners. He's going to be facing tougher. American Act breaking right next to him is a quality speed horse as well. Uh, actually, American Act, uh, he beat Brody Meister in a maiden race. Yep. And, and then uh, he finished in front of Creative Cause last time. This horse has some quality, and I would expect him to be all over the pace as well. And I think unlike the uh, San Vicente and the Robert B. Lewis, where both of those races run incredibly slow early, fast, late, we're going to get a very different race shape here, probably a fairer assessment of uh, these horses, quality horses, that will be doing battle in this uh, San Felipe. Oh, that's definitely true. And, and, and as we mentioned, with the track so speed favoring, when the pace is slow, that's just making the speed horses maybe uh, appear better than they are. Uh, so now if we're going to get a more honest pace scenario in here of the race shape, uh, and, and with this race shape, I think it could favor a horse maybe coming from a little bit off the pace. Right, which has not uh, been too common at Santa Anita this year, although horses like Ron the Greek, you know, we saw last week when uh, you get a little pace on there, you know, the closers can't be met. Uh, who's your top pick in this race, Jared? Well, I'm torn between two horses, and they both have decent prices. American Act is one of the speed horses that I mentioned. I, I liked him last time. Uh, he ran a, a decent race in the San Felipe, uh, in the San Vicente. Uh, he ended up uh, setting the pace. Uh, he was stubborn all the way to the end. He, he held on. A drill was the winner of that one. It's going to stretch out. If Booty Meister uh, gives him too much pressure on the front end, I think maybe they can set it up for a little bit of an off the pace horse. So maybe I'll make American Act maybe my, my slight second choice. A Midnight Transfer is one that I've, I've been high on for quite some time. Uh, he's going sprint to route. Uh, he, his breeding hard spun out of a French deputy mare. He is bred to at least go a mile to 16. He's got a, a tactical type speed. I think he's going to be sitting maybe about four lanes off the lead. And, and if he can get the two turns, he could be a little interesting. I'm going to join you on that Midnight Transfer. I think uh, this horse is stretching out to the route for the first time, as you mentioned. Uh, probably is the first behind the three speed horses, so it gets first run. I like Carla Gaines on these stretch outs. Uh, I think this is, uh, this is a little bit of a goodie at a, at a decent price. So definitely in my exotics. My top pick here is going to be Creative Cause. I like the uh, San Vicente running, again, very deceptive because this horse is truly a closer. Was running a sprint in, in the first race back. Nice prep, shook some rust off, looked certainly best into the stretch and in that gallop out past the wire, which is often an important indicator of where this horse may go next. Moves up second back off the layoff. Rosario, interestingly enough, is on this one over the stable mate Empire Way. Superior works, really uh, gets the pace, sits the trip. And Rosario also was ready midnight transfer, but he ends up. Chooses creative cause in this spot, and I agree. Creative cause looks very solid. He, he was a quality two-year-old. He's a Grade One winner at the distance. Uh, stretching back out should help. He didn't get a ton of pace help in, in that compact uh, San Vicente. I think he's going to get it here. He should move forward. But we should note that he has over 500,000 in graded earnings. This isn't a race he has to win. I think his stable made Empire Way needs the graded earnings much more than Creative Cause does. I still expect him to win a big race. 
And interestingly enough, Empire Way is one of my top uh, picks right now. Dark Horse is for the Derby. Sneaky good. Harrington, at least, if uh, you read what he's saying and believe it, he seems to be very high in this one. Uh, he's very confident in this horse, and he really impressed me in that Robert B. Lewis. And, yeah, he was one of the only ones all running on. The pace wasn't, as we mentioned, it was moderate. He, he ran on nicely. He, he's bred to run all day, but he, he's, he's related to a Royal Delta. Uh, last year's uh, Breeders' Cup uh, Ladies' Classic winner. Uh, so I would expect this one to continue to improve as distances increase. And what's your wager on this one here, Jerry? I would say that my top two plays, uh, my top two choices, American Act and Midnight Transfer. I would make a win bet. Maybe you split the win bet if you get a decent price, 10 to 1 or so on both. Uh, but I would put, definitely put both of those horses on top. I maybe put Creative Cause for sure underneath. And then in a long shot, you can throw in Maybe you can do your trifectas and superfectas. Blingo for trainer uh, John Sheriffs down on the inside. Uh, he's had good workouts. So the, the clocker has been impressed with his works. He's coming in off of a layoff. The cash call futurity was the last time he, he faced the starter. He was a close up six that day. It was only a second lifetime start. He seems to have a lot of potential. I agree. There's some good pace on here. He's a sneaky bump up. I'm going with a one dollar trifecta. Creative cause on top. I'm going to put that one over Bodie Meister, Empire Way, Midnight Transfer, and Blingo. And I'm just going to hit that all button in the third hole. That seems like a good play, and, and one of a trifecta strategy you, you could use here. I'd maybe put a, a, I would put American Act Midnight Transfer on top, put Creative Cause in second, and then use All in third. Then I may come back and put American Act Midnight Transfer on top, put All in second, and then Bruce Lingo in third. Great prep race. It's going to tell us a lot about these California horses. Really looking forward to the outcome. And so uh, we will bid farewell here. This is Mike Shuddy, bidding you to go fast and win. And Jared, good luck at the races.